hello hello welcome back for another review if you're new here welcome I've had this one for a little while but <laughs> some of the other ones kind of took center stage but this one now it's time to talk about this one this is the se file collection for 2021 i don't believe it has a name i didn't see it anywhere there's six polishes four of which are creams and two are kind of that more subtle shimmer which i'm actually liking quite a bit more than i thought i would they've been doing that a lot with their recent collections and it's a different kind of glitter it's more like a shimmer that leaves a glow underneath and I'm really liking that. All the formulas for these polishes are just fantastic you guys. So good. I, I could pretty much get them all opaque in one coat but I think for all my swatch pictures I did too at least for most of them. The formula is just so great. So so great and their brush. I just love their new brush so much. I purchased these online. They are available at Beyond Polish right now. I do have that discount code golari 10 so make sure you use that for a 10% discount. That company is just amazing. I'm happy to be working with them. That is an affiliate link just so that you're aware. This is a limited edition collection so if you see any polishes that you really love I would go ahead and get them because they will be gone. I kind of had mixed feelings about this collection when I first saw it and I'm liking some of them a little bit more than I thought I would. A lot of them seemed kind of dupable but I definitely have comparisons so we'll talk about that but let's get into the polishes the first one here is sound check you out and it's a beautiful taupe polish it has some brown in it and it has some purple in it it's a really nice balance of both of those colors I like it quite a bit I really love these kind of muted nudes for fall there kind of is a lot of these shades out there but every time I put them on I'm like oh I just love these for fall they're just the perfect time to wear these kind of nudes uh, especially ones that are a little bit lighter that stand out a little bit more on your skin tone so I I like this one quite a bit. The formula is really good. Like I said before, this basically looked opaque in one coat. This is one that you might need two. Of course, I always do two, but I think when I did the swatch, I was like, oh, two is definitely better for this one just because it's a little bit of a lighter color and there were just a few little small patches. And so I would say two for this one, but really the formula is so good. I did comparisons for this one. So let's talk about those. I compared it to Chin Chili and that one is close. It's a little bit lighter and Sound Check You Out has... A much better formula. I shouldn't say a better formula, but I would just say a kind of different formula. I think Chinchilla is more of a Crelly, which I actually really like. So just a little bit different. Sound Check You Out also has a touch more gray than that, but that one's pretty close. And I, I thought when I looked at it that it would be kind of close to that one. And then Topless Beach from OPI is lighter and more gray, and so it's not as brown as this one. And then Easily Suede is darker and more brown. So all have that muted quality, and they're kind of close, but none were exactly the same. So not exactly exact but close. I really really do like this one quite a bit though. I love these kind of brown polishes anyway. This might be worth picking up if you really love chinchilla and you don't love the brush on that and you just want to update the brush and maybe have one that has a little bit better formula. This would probably be worth it so keep that in mind. This next one here is my Happy Bass and this is like a baby poo mixed with puke color. <laughs> I'm kind of kidding, but I'm kind of not. I don't know. I can actually see a lot of people liking this. It's a really interesting, unique shade. I will give it that. I'm still trying to decide how I like it and if I'm going to wear it, but I can definitely see some people wearing it and getting away with it and it looking good. Like if you had a really dark skin tone, I think this would look really good, but I don't know. It just looked kind of weird on my hands. Let me know down below if you really like colors like this, because I would just be curious to know because someone's got to like them. I don't know. I usually like greens, but this one's just kind of yellowy and I don't think I <laughs> like it very much. But the formula on this one is really really great it's basically opaque in one coat I did two like I said for my picture swatch but the formula is just so so great yeah so <laughs> I did do comparisons for this one it, I really don't have anything that's like super close to it but I compared it to taxi hopping that's from Essie's expressy line and I thought I knew this one was a little bit more green but it's actually kind of close that one's just a little bit more yellow and then I also compared it to mustard the courage that's from China glaze that's more of a mustard yellow so that just kind of gives you an idea of how green this one is and then I just added autumns up so you could see them all together because that one's even more yellow and not the same. So it's definitely unique, but I don't know. I feel bad describing it that way, but that's kind of what I think of when I look at it. It definitely has a 70s vibe and part of this collection definitely does give me that 70s vibe. So uh, let me know if you like colors like this. I'm just really curious to know. Um, but I mean, it's so unique you might not want to pass this up because it is a limited edition collection and if you're a collector it might be a really fun unique one to have. So. This next one is Star Struck Accord and it's this beautiful purple color and then it has this kind of iridescent shimmer in there. It's a really really fine shimmer and it shifts from green to gold. I feel like they've been adding this shimmer to a lot of their polishes 
And I really, like I said earlier, really am enjoying these kind of shimmery colors. I don't know, they're not too in your face, they're a little more subtle, they're easy to take off, and they just give it a little more pizzazz. <laughs> and I'm getting used to being a little more pizzazzy. That's probably not even a word, but the formula on this one was really, really great. It's gonna be opaque in one beautiful coat. I did two just because I think it adds depth and it makes the polish a little bit thicker, and I kind of like that gel-like look. Pretty much it's opaque in one coat. It's just got a dreamy, dreamy formula. And I think it's a really, really great shade for fall. So I did do comparisons for this, even though there's really not anything like this. I just kind of pulled things out that I thought were close. Looking at Making Harmony in the bottle, I thought it might be the same polish with just shimmer added to it, but it's actually really not. But that kind of gives you an idea of what kind of color tone that this one is. Dutch you Just Love OPI is the closest that I could find in my collection. It's not as shimmery and it doesn't show up as much as this one does. Um, but that was probably the closest. And then the Sound of Vibrance by OPI, that has a blue and purple shifting shimmer. So that one's different. So there's nothing really like this one. This is unique too. They're definitely working on coming out with more unique colors. And I think it's kind of hard as a polish developer because you get people complaining about colors that are so similar. And then you get people complaining about too much shimmer, but that's kind of what you have to do to make things a little different. So I think they have a challenge on their hands to make everybody happy, but this collection I feel like has a good balance for people, so you can definitely find something that you need, and I liked this one. This next one is High Voltage Vinyl, and it's this beautiful green shade. It's more of an olive green, and it has this same kind of shifting shimmer in there. It shifts from green to gold, same as what was in the purple. I thought this one was pretty nice too. This did seem a little more metallic, I thought than the other one and that's one reason why I maybe didn't like it as much as some of the other ones that have been coming out and so that quality I didn't super love about it I mean, it's not super metallic but it is just a little bit it's opaque in one gorgeous coat I did two for my swatch picture and all my swatch pictures are top coated with the glisten and glow top coat that's the top coat that I really really love it's just perfect and I'll actually put a link to that down below because I get asked that question a lot and I should mention it more but let's talk about the comparison so I did compare it to China Glaze Love Them and Leave Them and that's from their new fall collection and I was surprised to find that they're pretty much almost exact. The flash is more strong with high voltage vinyl and a little more yellow, but they I really was surprised they were so close. If I had to pick one, I would definitely pick the China Glaze one just because it's not as punchy, but if you like something that's a little more punchy, then I would choose this one. And then I compared it to Sweater Weather, and that one's a bright green shimmery one. It's a different tone, so you could see that. So those are the only two comparisons that I have for this one. Again, definitely a unique shade. The next one I have is Fill and Apt, and this is a gorgeous blue. These are my favorite kind of blue tones to wear. I really don't know how to describe these blues. It's a blue that's almost teal leaning, but it's not like a royal blue, and so it maybe has a touch of green in it. I don't know. I just really love this shade, especially this time of year. I think it's a great transition color. It's just really hard for me to describe the color tone of this one. It's got an amazing, amazing, amazing formula. It's going to be opaque in one coat. I did two for my picture. Not much else to say about the formula other than it's really nice. I do see a potential for maybe this staining. I know it's not as bad as some of the other blues. I always am a little bit leery about blues and people always ask me that. My nails don't tend to stain a lot, but I would just be careful and always wear a base coat, maybe even a double base coat if your nails tend to stain because blues can kind of do that. Okay, so I compared it to Hide and Go Chic. In the bottle, those looked exactly the same. Of course, Hide and Go Chic has a more crelly formula and I think it's close, but it's not exactly the same. Not as close as I thought. And then and I compared it to OPI Super Califigiistic, and that one is more of a sky blue. I just wanted to show you that because I didn't find anything else that was super, super close, and that just gives you an idea of the color tone. Originally in my comparisons, I had All Hill Queen Mother Earth from their New Nature Strong line just because I wanted you to see how close it was to like a teal, so it's not quite teal, but I took it off and compared it to Juicy Details because I thought you'd want to see that instead, and that one's brighter and lighter and a little bit different, and I forgot how much that one stains, you guys. Even just taking it off my nails it stained quite a bit but as you can see I mean there's nothing really like this one if you liked hide and go chic I know you're really gonna like this one and the formula is much better and with this new brush it's gonna be really great and so I found this one to be kind of unique to Essie's line so this is a good one I think this is one of the standouts of the collection especially since it's limited edition this might be the one to pick up next we have off the record and it's this beautiful kind of muted raspberry shade it's a berry it's kind of a burgundy it has a little bit of brown but not too much 
and I really love these kind of shades for fall. I'm such a sucker for them. Essie definitely has a lot of them, and I'll talk about the comparisons in a minute, but I just like them all. <laughs> especially when they're new. I think it's more fun, but it's definitely not super, super, super unique. Maybe a touch unique. I'll talk about that in a second. So the formula on this one is so good, you guys, and I love the muted quality. It's just so nice and it goes on so nicely in one coat. I would probably do two though, just to build it up a little bit more. And now let's talk about those comparisons. So I compared it to Nailed It, and that one's closest, almost exact, but I think Off the Road is a little more muted. It's really hard to tell that in the picture. You're going to look at this picture and they're all going to look exactly the same, but I will tell you that off the record is a little bit more muted than any of these. These other ones have more of a rich formula. So Knee High Life definitely has more red and it's a little bit more of a rich formula and New Year, New Hue is a touch more purple. A lot of the other Essie polishes I had like um, Swing of Things and Bahama Mama have more of that purple tone and this is more of like a raspberry tone that's a little bit muted. Polishes like Orly Red Rock and such have more of a red tone. So this one's kind of in between those I would say. So while it's like kind of the same and similar it is a little bit different but really you're not going to be able to tell that slight difference <laughs> in my picture. You're going to look at it and you're going to be like oh those are all exactly the same but trust me they're they're not. <laughs> so anyway that's just a really slight difference. So I, I really did like this one. I'm definitely going to be wearing this one for fall and I'll let you decide if you're going to get this one. Okay so that's it for the collections. I am going to pick my favorites. It's kind of hard to pick favorites. I really liked all these but then I look at them and none of them like jump out to me like a lot. So hold on let me think about this for a second. It's rare that I pick a shimmery color in my favorites, but I am today. <laughs> so I really love this one more than I really thought. We'll see if I wear it. We'll see. Star struck a chord and then this blue fill and amped. So those are my two that I think are kind of more standouts in this collection. Um, if you did not pick up the China Glaze one because you don't like the brand China Glaze, um, this is definitely a standout too. This one's quite unique. I don't think there's going to be anything like this. I mean, maybe there is. I feel like H&M has something kind of close to this, but I don't really have any H&M polishes. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that review. I hoped it was really helpful. Let me know if there are any you're going to pick up. If you're going to pass up on this collection, I would really like to know in the comments. I love to know what kind of polishes you guys are loving, and I really appreciate you being here and watching my video. And if you're new, welcome, and thanks for being here. Make sure to like and subscribe, and don't forget to comment down below. Thanks guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.